Goodbye, leaders and legends. Hello, Logic, Big Ten. Mark Rogers TV, just about a month before the conference, is expected to announce its realignment with Rutgers and Maryland on board in two football seasons. It's really pretty simple. It breaks down with 14 teams, seven in each division. We're going to really go out there and name these divisions East and West the way it should have been originally and break it down for you. We think we've got a pretty simple formula. Okay, in the Eastern Division, you've got Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, Maryland and Rutgers, and we're going to throw in Indiana as well. That's your seven. Okay, we go to the Western Division. We've got Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois, Northwestern, and also Purdue. Really the only difficulty here was splitting up Indiana and Purdue, two traditional rivals. In fact, if the divisions are broken up 7-7 seven and seven, as we just announced, you would save all the traditional rivalries within division. You've got Minnesota playing Wisconsin, Ohio State and Michigan, Michigan, Michigan State. You've got Ohio State and Penn State. The only rivalry, true meaningful rivalry that's broken up is Indiana and Purdue. Therefore, what you do is you play, of course, nine conference games up from eight. We now go to nine conference games. So the seven teams play within the division six conference games. Therefore, they rotate the other three non-division games to round out the nine-game conference schedule. So you rotate those games, excluding the one Indiana-Purdue game. They will always play. So you keep that traditional rivalry for the old Oaken Bucket safe, Purdue and Indiana. We looked at the records for all the teams over the past five years and it was broken down as we just ran down with Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, Maryland, Rutgers, and again, Indiana in the Eastern Division, everybody else in the West. The Western Division is plus 57 games over 500 in the last five years. The East, surprisingly, with Ohio State and Michigan, just 45 games over 500. But we think we've got competitive balance because if you look at the last five years, Iowa, up until the last couple seasons, certainly performed very well. Uh, Iowa coming in over the past uh, five years at 41 and 23. Michigan, surprisingly, just at 35 and 28. Those Rich Rod years really wore down that record. Of course, Michigan back at it under Brady Hoke, so we would expect a 35 and 28 to be the aberration at Michigan. So we expect competitive balance the way we've got it set up at 7-7. Seven and seven. We maintain all the rivalries. We took care of Indiana-Purdue. We've got nine conference games. That's our Big Ten East and West. Would love to hear what you have to say about Big Ten realignment on Mark Rogers TV.